All right, so I am back with a brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to start a successful social media marketing agency in 2019. Whether you're a beginner or you already have a social media marketing agency, I'm going to be sharing my tips and experience um, about where I think the industry is moving. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Jaime and if you're not new, this topic might come a bit of a, a surprise to you. Now in the past, although I haven't put out that many videos, but in the past I've talked a lot about personal development, a lot about uh, biohacking, a lot about life design. Now these are all topics that I'm incredibly passionate about and um, these are all topics that I think are absolutely, uh, absolutely essential to really hijack your, your way to success and speed things up. But um, I am going to be shifting my attention to, uh, to, to the business side of things um, and especially how to create a successful business at a, at a really young age, particularly a social media marketing agency. And now why am I shifting my attention to, to this topic? It just comes down to what I've been building in the past nine months. For the past nine months, I've been focusing on, on building a social media marketing agency to the point where um, in the last two months, I've taken it to the low end of six figures. And uh, now I'm focusing on, on building that team around me so that I can focus on the business and not, not so much in the business. But I know you might not care about that. So let's get into the juicy stuff of this video. I'm going to be sharing exactly three ways uh, that you can start a successful a social media marketing agency and three things that are, in my opinion are going to be changing in 2019 just because uh, the things that I've seen uh, towards the end of 2018. So let's get on to the first way that you can start it. The first change that we're going to see in 2018 is that social media management is not going to be paid as well or it's not going to be valued as much as in 2018. Now, why is this? It's because this skill is not a high income skill. A lot of you can, people can do it. There's a lot of competition. And so you, that skill is not worth as much as it used to when it, was, when it was in the saturated market. This also because it's more of a convenience offer rather than, uh, rather than an opportunity uh, offer. And I'll be talking a lot about this, the difference between the two. Uh, later on in uh, in later videos but the the key takeaway is that social media management is not a no, uh, it's not a, it's not an opportunity uh, offer uh, your client can't really see a, a specific return on investment because the return on investment is not it's not monetary it's, it's more a social return on investment so you can't really tell them how much a thousand followers is worth to them obviously it's, it's building a brand, it's building awareness around that brand, but it's harder to sell it. And thus, um, thus I recommend that you shift your attention to other services such as uh, marketing, uh, Facebook ads, uh, does, does very well because it's, a, it's more of a high income skill and produces a clear uh, monetary ROI. So going into 2019, I recommend you shift to those services. If you're about to start an agency, get a Facebook um, ad expert, for example, and offer those services instead of obviously doing it yourself because you might not be an expert, but shift from, from those, those kind of skills into, into higher value skills. Uh, take them up that, that value ladder and, um, and stop offering social media management because at the end of the day, um, and I've seen this in my own experience because uh, one of my acquisition channels was uh, uploading applications to, to freelance websites it got to a point where it was such a saturated mar a market that they wouldn't they wouldn't even let you uh, uh, put a, put up an application as a social media manager or a uh, social media growth expert. So focus on on the marketing side of things, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and uh, shift your attention away from social media management. The second change that we're going to see in 2019, and one that you should definitely have in mind uh, to be successful starting a social media marketing agency in 2019 kind of builds on top of the first one we talked about and it's really caused by a lot of businesses and clients uh, being burnt in the past by poor functioning social media marketing agencies. Now, up to now, I believe that a lot of marketing agencies out there have been have had that freedom of, of not being clear with, with how much value they're bringing to, the bus to businesses and just running things poorly, uh, in my opinion. As businesses realize that they're not getting their money worth, they're looking uh, for 
higher uh, higher value marketing agencies, marketing agencies that can that are results oriented, that are, are profit driven, and that can show them how many leads they're going to bring them through the marketing services, how many how much those leads are worth to them by looking at the lifetime value of those those customers for that business, and just really being clear about uh, the value they're bringing to that business. That's how um, my agency does things. For example. Um, I am very confident in telling them, look, I'm going to bring you uh, at least a 2x or why and this is why I can, I can price my services at, at this uh, price point because I'm bringing so much uh, profit and, and so, many, so much revenue to your business that, I can take, that I'm, I'm sure I can take uh, you know, the worst share of that deal and, uh, but still take a, a, a good chunk of that because I'm bringing a 2x or y on your investment. A lot of agencies aren't doing this. A lot of agencies are not profit oriented. They're not. They're not looking at, at the return investment of their clients. And uh, in 2019, you're really gonna have to show clients um, this: how much you're investing, this: how many leads uh, we're generating for you, and um, and obviously this can be done through through marketing services instead of you know social media management and social media growth account, uh, growing accounts and stuff. So um, yeah, that's the second thing. That you wanna that you wanna have in mind be results oriented and be profit driven. So the last way to build a successful marketing a social media marketing agency is to really start operating more of, uh, as a business owner than a freelancer. Now I'm I'm completely spe uh, speaking from experience and for also from what I've seen, uh, a lot of people focus on on doing the service that they're offering. So for example. They'll try to learn content creation in two weeks and offer that to their client. Or they'll try to, to learn Facebook ads in two weeks and offer that to their client. Now this has a lot of problems, right? It brings up a lot of problems. One, it's not scalable because you cannot duplicate those services. You cannot duplicate yourself. And the whole point of building an agency is building automated and effective systems and processes so that you can separate yourself from the equation and um, and, and really have that peace of mind to acquire clients and to do something else that, uh, other than, than doing those services for the, for the clients. And secondly, and most importantly for sure, is that you're just not proficient or an expert at those services. Now, you can't expect, and I see a lot of people doing this, you can't expect to be an expert at Facebook ads in two weeks when there's people that breathe, live and sleep Facebook ads. Same, same thing for content creation. There's people that are absolute experts at this, at this craft. And you can be offering those services to clients and, and have that peace of mind because you won't have that confidence that you can uh, provide killer results for them. Now, um, what I applied in my, in my own agency is I hired a Facebook ad expert because I wanted uh, to have that peace of mind that this guy was going to provide absolute killer results for, for those clients. And I wanted to focus on building up a team that is a lot more scalable. I wanted to duplicate those services. And I, I really wanted to, to just create a team around me so that, I can, so that I can really focus on scaling my business. If you focus on, on, offering, on, on doing the services that you're offering the clients, you will never have that time to really grow the business. So as a closing thought, really focus on having an expert do it for for, uh, for you because they're going to provide a lot a lot better results for uh, your clients and you're just going to have that peace of mind um, that uh, you can that, that your agency is a, it's a great agency and, and that you can scale so that is it for today's video um, I really hope you can implement those three things that we talked about into into daily operations of your agency or if you're about to start a social media marketing agency have those things in mind we really have a successful and productive 2019 i talked a lot about the service side of things um now i didn't talk about uh, i didn't talk about the acquisition side of of the agency if you want to if you want to hear more about it um i'm going to be coming out with a lot of videos on sma and uh, acquisition and services and and all sort of uh, good stuff so if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to my channel go ahead and like this video and uh, yeah, just stay tuned. I really hope you have a, an amazing 2019. Hope you crush it. And I'll catch you in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.